Welcome to Interview, a production of the Government Information Service. I am Jolene Bissett Josie. The Chefs in Schools Cook-Off Competition is an initiative of the St. Lucia Hotel and Tourism Association. Since its conception, the aim of the initiative is to aid in providing guidance to food and nutrition students from industry chefs. Now, on the run-up to the competition, GIS has had a range of interviews with the schools who will be participating in the cook-off competition. The competition was held on the 13th and 14th of June respect, um, respectively and here to tell us a little bit about the results and how this year's competition went is Mr. Wendell George who is the Tourism Enhancement Fund Project Coordinator at the SLHDA. Thank you for joining us today Wendell. Hi, thank you very much. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this year's competition on a whole, very generally, how do you think it went? Um, the competition was, I would say in one word, awesome okay and also exciting mm -hmm. i mean we had a beautiful audience we had 10 schools in the competition mm -hmm. um and each of the schools we had supporters okay. teachers came out to mm -hmm. to view and see the event mm -hmm. um it like you know it's two rounds of competition mm -hmm. the students they train for the well they practice mm -hmm. based on their signature dish right. and also they were expecting a mystery basket mm -hmm. um, round as well um, the two rounds were very exciting. I mean, it's one thing seeing it on television yeah. or seeing it from somebody's smartphone who mm -hmm. recorded it, mm -hmm. but it's something else when you're in the audience and you're seeing it right there. The students under pressure, they're working against time, and I mean, it's just something different and something yeah. to experience. Yeah. So all in all, it was a really, really good experience mm -hmm. for the students, mm -hmm. um, the teachers, the chefs who trained them as well, mm -hmm. and um, for everyone who was part of the event and the sponsors as well. Okay, brilliant. Now tell me a little bit about what the results were for this year. Who came third, second? Um, so mm -hmm. this year, in the first round of mm -hmm. the competition, um, the Sufre Compre had the highest points. Okay. Um, also, um, who the, the schools who actually came in second was mm -hmm. Convent. Okay. That's in the first round of the okay. competition. Mm -hmm. In the second round of the competition, um, the San Joseph's Convent, mm -hmm. they topped that round. Okay. And Sufre Compre came in second. <laughs> but right. the, what the competition is, yeah. what we do, we add both the points from both rounds. Okay, okay. Um, since Sufre Compre had uh, much more points in the first round, yeah. um, overall, mm -hmm. when we added the points, Sufre Compre is the overall winner. champions okay. and the overall winner for this year. Okay. So Super Compre, they're mm -hmm. the champions for 2019, mm -hmm. um, followed by St. Joseph's Convent, mm -hmm. who came in second, and the Leoness mm -hmm. Secondary School okay. came in third. Okay. Um, so we were awarded the top three schools. Yeah. Um, the, the dishes were, I mean, just something of awe, you know, something yeah. to, to be I mean, because the thing is, the, these students, yeah. when I compare them to the senior chefs mm -hmm. working in the industry already, mm -hmm. they, these students put these guys to shame. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the level of professionalism mm -hmm. in, in two months of training. Mm -hmm. um, so just imagine if they had more time to yeah, train, yeah. more time to be exposed to the, mm -hmm. to the kitchen and to diff diff different formats and mm -hmm. techniques of cooking and so on. Mm -hmm. um, they could do a lot more. Right. Um, okay. So it just goes to show um, how much this experience and the training mm -hmm. um, can develop mm -hmm. the, the aspiring cooks from okay. those various schools around the island. Okay. So um, I want to say congratulations to the super Most comprehensive secondary yeah. school, mm -hmm. um, those persons who came in second, and just um, generally all the students who competed mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. made this event what it was this year. Okay. Yeah. Now, you were talking about the high standard um, mm -hmm. within the competition. Do you believe that, I mean, it's an annual thing, so do you, mm -hmm. have you seen as you have progressed with the competition that the level of, of ability has grown throughout the years? Do you believe that's happened? Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, because what the hotels do, every year they give a different chef um, okay. the opportunity to train students. Mm -hmm. And so every year you see a different level of um, expertise and mm -hmm. um, techniques and so on. So, I mean, and, and I mean, generally the chefs from the hotels themselves, as time goes by, mm -hmm. they grow. Yeah. You know, the techniques become better. Mm -hmm. So they pass it on to the students as well. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely as the uh, competition progresses, as it gets better every year, mm -hmm. um, the whole experience, the whole competition the, the students will learn more yeah, yeah. Um, because there's a lot more information out there. There's mm -hmm. a lot more programs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's um, 
Instagram, there's mm -hmm. Facebook where they can get all the techniques, they can see videos mm -hmm. live, they can watch Food Network channels right. and so on. Right. Um, so our young millennials right now, yeah. um, they're exposed to all the information. Mm -hmm. It's right there in front of them and it's free. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can learn anything via YouTube. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you never knew how to make um, a chocolate cake, yeah, all you, you have to do is just type yeah, it in and, and find it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, I've made stuff just by typing on YouTube. Mm -hmm. you know, any little thing. You can even make your own um, sodas right, right. using our own local ingredients mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just adding some soda water and stuff to give it a little sparkle. And so mm -hmm. it's just amazing that everything that you want to learn mm -hmm is right there in front of you. Okay. It's just how passionate you are about it and how bad do you really want to learn. Okay, brilliant. Now there's yeah. a lot more to talk about, but we're going to go to a commercial break now. So when we come back, we'll carry on this, comp this conversation about how the competition went yes. this year. Yes. But stay with us, we'll be right back. One of the eight universally recognized rights of the consumer is the right to be heard. This means that every consumer who is dissatisfied with a good or service has the right to lodge a complaint to the provider of that good or that service. This should be the first point of lodging a complaint. Ensure that the receipt, as proof of the transaction, is available. Welcome back to Interview. I'm Johnny B. St. Joseph and I am joined by Wendell George of the SLHDA who's telling us a little bit about how the um, Chefs in Schools cook-off competition went this year. Now, Wendell, we were talking about the high standards and everything um, that the participants showed throughout the competition. What exactly is it that the judges actually look for in the competition, however, though? Well, the judges looked for um, just four general different um, criteria. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, presentation. Mm -hmm. Um, because sometimes, based on how the food looks, um, it can be appealing or not really mm -hmm. appealing. So mm -hmm. presentation is key as well. Right. Um, the food temperature, mm -hmm. um, techniques, mm -hmm. uh, knife skills, and also sanitation, right. um, which is very mm, important yeah. in those um, types of events. Mm -hmm. um, so those are the general criteria that the judges were looking for. Mm -hmm. um, we had five judges this year, um, split in two days. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the first day, we had uh, Chef Ricardo Alexander from the Hotel Chocolat. Mm -hmm. uh, we had Chef Rifa Leos from Sanders for Talk. And we also had Chef Orlando Sachel from Orlando's mm -hmm. in Soufre. Mm -hmm. On the second day, we had Kevin White, who is the owner of Crown Foods. Mm -hmm. um, Rifa Leos also helped us out on the second day as well. Mm -hmm. And we had uh, Chef Mario Marshall, okay. who was a former chef at Sanders and Royalton, but okay. now he works f um, for himself. So. Those are the judges who really mm -hmm. um, helped out for those two days of the competition. Okay, brilliant. Now, again, we talked about the, the high stand and everything. Was there anything, like, what made um, the, 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 especially, maybe I should say, the top two stand out for the judges? Is it that they pulled something unbelievable out of the hat? I mean, what did they do to really make sure they got those mm -hmm. positions? Um, I think it's um, everything uh, mm -hmm. in terms of the way they work together, mm -hmm. um, the teamwork, the, the way they synchronize, the way right. they, uh, the techniques that they use, mm -hmm. the plating, um, and just generally the, the, the whole mm -hmm. competition mm -hmm. for the two, two first place. Um, because they, they really put on a good show mm -hmm. and their dishes taste really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, it's not easy for them and for the chefs sometimes, mm -hmm. their coach, to just get an ingredient or a particular um, protein mm. mixed with uh, a Win Fresh product, for example, because okay. Win Fresh was the sponsor this year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they would have to use probably a Win Fresh um, hot sauce or a Win Fresh tamarind marinade, mm -hmm. and you would have to um, use that and create a beautiful dish out of it. Okay, okay. It's the first time the students will be using the product, mm -hmm. um, they have to use the right amount. Mm -hmm and use it innovatively. So um, I think they also get extra points for using those products innovatively. Okay. Um, so it added a twist to the competition, um, having WinFresh on board. Mm -hmm. And I also want to say thank you to WinFresh too okay. um, for coming on board this year for the event. Mm -hmm. So I think generally that's what really made the two 
well, the three top schools stand out. Mm -hmm. um, generally, all the techniques, food presentation, mm -hmm. and the use of the product okay. in the in the food. Okay. Now, I know in your capacity at the SLHDA, you have also um, worked in somewhat in a kind of a training capacity, whereas you make sure that young people get trained and such legs. So, in your opinion, how important do you think a competition like this is for young people to partake in? It is extremely important mm -hmm. um, because if we don't, who's going to? Right. Um, we, we're in an industry that is growing every day. Um, the trend changes and we need to adapt to the new trends mm -hmm. that are coming. And if we don't expose our students, our young aspiring um, hospitality professionals mm -hmm. to those types of training, mm -hmm. then we put them at, an, at, a, at a disadvantage and also the industry at a disadvantage because when our clients come, our guests come, they expect mm -hmm. a certain experience mm -hmm. and a certain product mm -hmm. and they're not getting that okay. based on what is advertised and so on. So I think it's important that um, SLHJ continues to play that vital role mm -hmm. in the training and development of our human resources in St. Lucia. Okay. Um, that's important, not just for hospitality, gen generally for all industries because mm -hmm. All the other industries out there play a vital role in tourism as well. Mm -hmm. um, they're all linked. Right, very true. So, I mean, from construction mm -hmm. to um, IT to agriculture, mm -hmm. they all play a vital role mm -hmm. in tourism. And it's important that we continue to build that linkage mm -hmm. and to strengthen it and make the industry generally um, better. Okay, all right. Now, we're running out of time, but very generally, can you just tell me where do you think that the SLHTA want to go with the, the competition? Is it a standard that you think they'll be happy for it to continue at, or do you see the competition growing still? I think the competition will definitely grow. And um, as the interest from various schools um, begin to increase, mm -hmm. the, the SLHTA will be obligated to mm -hmm. um, make the event better and better because... I mean, you, you wouldn't want to bring a, a competition to a certain standard and then drop. Right. I mean, it's, it's, I just feel that we need to continue on that um, yeah. trajectory. Yeah. Um, we at SLHJ, we have maintained a certain standard, mm -hmm. and it is also part of our mandate mm -hmm. to continue to do those types of events, um, okay. continue to train our young people. Okay. Um, because there's a, there's a growing interest in tourism, mm -hmm. in culinary arts, surprisingly, mm -hmm. nowadays. And um, I would definitely encourage you know, persons mm -hmm. to give it a try. Don't yeah. be shy, don't be afraid. Um, the opportunities are limitless. And um, I think that tourism has a lot to offer, St. Lucia, yeah, if we play true. our cards right. Okay. Well, Wendell, thank mm -hmm. you so much for joining us today. It's always a pleasure to have you on. Thank you for being a part of interview for today. However, from us here, bye-bye for now. Thank you.